This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News kids on their youth leadership to see the full exposure of what uh, how the money is being spent. And you know what? Other countries do it, and we're we're actually quite behind. Are, are you aware that the province of Quebec is not does not agree in that asking a meeting with you? Exactly. Yes, I am. I received a letter from from the Minister of uh, Labor last evening through you guys. I actually, went to the press instead of me directly. Um, we're going to take a look at it this morning, and I'll be I'll be calling the minister to discuss. Okay. But don't you think so, it, it, uh, it, it's, uh, it's 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 it puts the uh, the bosses at, uh, at, at too much advantage towards the union to, to disclose think, so much. To, uh, to disclose so much. You know what? The level of disclosure is is very similar to what happens in other countries, and it hasn't created any imbalances there. And what the balance we want back is to make sure that the average worker who probably votes in their elections, like my mother does, she's a member of CAW, when she goes to cast her ballot for competing people, she knows what the track record financially was of the union. You know, there's some provinces here who have no financial disclosure at all. So this is, you know, with the amendments, taking care of the issues that we had, it's good. It's going to be a certainty that they will pass the constitutional test. Yeah, so, the NDP oh, says, I haven't looked at that uh, yeah, one. The NDP says the, law, the, the court will, uh, right. will not pass it. Well, you know what? It, uh, there, it's not. Um, let me put it this way. Uh, it, it seems like almost everything that we we have with respect to discussing these matters ends up going through that kind of a test in the courts. We'll wait to see what they have to say. But, should, but, should, but shouldn't you actually check before it becomes a law? Because there's you know spending involved if you go through. You the know, court. balancing of rights is always a really difficult thing. This is where we're we're going in terms of of legislation. And regardless of what the what position other parties or other people may take in terms of of taking this to the court system, what we're focused on is making sure that Canadians have the right information they need in order to make good decisions. And quite frankly, this is a private member's bill. We're spending a lot of time on it. I mean, our goal for this holiday season and for the entire time is working on our mandate. We want to create jobs. We want to create prosperity. And that's but our positive But if it becomes stuff. law, it becomes law. If it's a private member's bill or not, it becomes yep, law. Yeah, it's got to go and through the Senate. And your government is supporting it? We are supporting it. Yeah, what, what, what do you say to people say it's union like What do you say to people say it's not? Giving information, giving information to individuals individuals within the union is only empowering the members to make informed decisions. But what and that's kind of information happening. do they need that they don't have now? Well, they don't, in two provinces, they have nothing. They have to rely upon, upon uh, the membership, uh, the executive, in order to even provide basic financial statements. And we're saying, you can now get this through another way. And as I said before, this happens in the U.S. since 1959. It's been but in the U.K. for many years, in have Australia. You, have, have you ever belonged to a union? Uh, oh. Well, I belong to the Law Society of Upper Canada. It's not quite a union, but have I belonged to? No, I don't think I have. Well, my family does. But with the Upper Society, is there any information you feel that people should have that they're not getting? Uh, well, what we hear from from folks, look, I'm in the hockey rinks on the weekend, and my family is a heavily unionized family, and there's information that they would like to be able to have access to, and I don't think that's a bad thing for people to have information that they can actually utilize in order to make informed decisions. But what kind of information are we talking about? Well, the information that has been set forward in the bill in terms of how the union takes the dues and uh, distributes and spends it. And I think you think that should, 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 should Upper, upper, should upper society, Canada uh, uh, Law Society should sorry. produce the but same reports? Because they don't. Well, the, in terms of uh, the private member's bill we're looking at tonight, it has to do specifically with uh, union memberships and labor organizations. And, and that's but what about professional associations?